I'm here in Lviv with some of our Global Action team, and uh, already it's been an emotional experience. Uh, uh, last night we were awakened twice, uh, and uh, the, the drill is about was about 12:30 in the morning, and you have to go down to the the shelter area. Uh, we're awakened again at 5:30 in the morning, and then. But what was interesting is that for breakfast we meet with pastors who are uh, who are ministering not only in this context here in Lviv but in other parts of Ukraine and providing shelter for people who who are displaced, um, turning their congregations, basically their churches, into places for people who need shelter. Uh, ministry to their physical needs as well as their their spiritual needs but one of the pastors we met with uh, this morning just said you know this is what God's called us to uh, we you know we've gone through the pandemic I mean they live they've lived through <laughs> communism now they're going through the pandemic now they're going through war and uh, these pastors and ministry leaders are strong very strong resilient and uh, just for for us, it's inspiring. And yeah, they're also thankful for friends like uh, the friends at Global Action who are supporting the work that they're doing. And I I just wanna to say uh, to all of our supporters, thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for your support. And I want you to know that the church around the world is strong and remaining strong. Um, so we'll share with you more about what the Lord is doing here in Eastern Europe and Ukraine. Uh, but I wanted to just check in and say thank you very much for, for your strong support.